whether it's a homosexual marriage or polygamy or whatever kind of marriage it is, they can't force you to perform that marriage. Well, a new push to give state officials the okay to say no when it comes to performing same-sex marriages. Good evening. Thanks for watching Utah's number one news station tonight. A Utah lawmaker says people who don't want to perform or officiate same-sex marriages shouldn't have to do it. One state representative is pushing a bill to make it a law in Utah. Christina Flores live at the Capitol with more on this bill. This lawmaker says he's trying to protect people's religious beliefs. That is true, including public servants. He says even public servants, public officials, should be able to refuse to marry a same-sex couple if they want to. No doubt this bill will cause passionate debates here on Capitol Hill. After social and legal battles, Utah same-sex couples have the right to marry and enjoy the legal benefits that come with marriage. But now State Representative Jacob Andereg of Lehigh has sponsored a bill that says if public officials like mayors or judges don't want to marry a same-sex couple, they shouldn't have to. Any religious person should not be for, forced to be involved in a marriage that's against their religious belief or violates their conscience. Even if you're a public servant? Well, yeah, if it violates your conscience. That's Gail Ruzica with a conservative group, the Eagle Forum. The bill would be flat out unconstitutional if you're saying that the justice of the, justice of the peace who has a mandatory duty to marry can pick or choose which marriages uh, he will do. Republican Senator Steve Urquhart doesn't think the bill has a legal leg to stand on and is meant only to send a message. Is it an anti-gay bill? No, it's protecting people. It has nothing to do with being anti-gay. It has to do with religious liberty and freedom. In fact, Ruzika feels the bill doesn't go far enough. Those who, who do the flowers or take the, the pictures or uh, make the cake, they should all be protected too. They shouldn't be forced to uh, be involved in a wedding if it violates their religious conscience. I get it that some people really want to put an exclamation mark on the fact that Utah isn't gay friendly, um, but I think that just ends up hurting us. Now, Republican State Representative Jacob Andreg of Lehigh, he is the sponsor of this bill. He did not want to go on camera tonight, but over the phone, he did tell me that he is working on some revisions to the bill. He wouldn't say what those changes might be, but he did say, Mark and Shauna, that the bill should be ready to go with all those revisions in about a week or so when the legislative session begins. Back to you. All right, Christina, thanks.